So today we're going to set up our equipment in the FieldView cab app. So I'm going to go into the equipment tab and add a new piece of equipment. So press that add new equipment button at the bottom. And really it's going to step by step walk us through the questions to set up this piece of equipment. So let's start with the easy one. Let's add the tractor that's going to be pulling our cedar. So I'd select tractor. Next, it's gonna ask what make my tractor is. So let's go with case, IH. Good, next. And then if I know which model I am searching, um, I can either scroll through and try and find it, um, or I can go to the search bar and start searching and it will come up right away. So let's say it says quad track 550. Good. You know, what's our steering type? I'll just say front um, tractor name, um, quad track. Good. Um, and then the next step is our GPS offset. So it needs to know from where the GPS bubble is, um, where is the hitch? That's really one of the main things that we're, we're looking at. Often these GPS offsets are going to be preset based on kind of the factory default, but never a bad idea to go look in the tractor monitor, go look, um, get out the measuring tape to double check them. One of the key ones I always want to double check is B, tractor center to GPS. That is because if the tractor, for example, or we think that the bubble is on the center of the tractor and really it's offset to one side, then when we start mapping, there's going to be gaps on one side and overlaps on the other. So if there is one to make double sure that is correct, it's whether the GPS is centered on the roof or not. And we have that measurement correct. Good. So that's the first step, adding that tractor. Oh, I need to... Just put in a number there, good, done. And then let's go and add an air seeder. It has a couple extra steps. So let's go through what that would look like as well. Good, so same thing, going to go through um, select our maker model. I'm gonna choose Burgo. Um, once again, select our model. With air seeder rows, if all of a sudden you don't see the number that you're looking for, um, let's say I have 62 rows, what should I do? Then at the bottom, we have this custom row count button. So I can enter the exact number that I have on my, my drill. Good, so next, same thing for row spacing. If I can't find what I'm looking for, there's a custom spacing at the bottom. Let's say I have 24 inch spacing. Good, our hitch styles, so, so that we can understand where the seed is being coming out, how that seeder is being pulled behind the tractor. Good. Will you be using an air cart? Yes, we will. What maker model is that air cart? This one is also Burgo. We'll say, what's the model? Good. With tank count, we want the maximum number of tanks. Sometimes you might have a drill that can have a curtain between two tanks. Let's say tanks two and three, there's the option of having a curtain. You'd still want to count it as three tanks. Um, it lets you, let's say you have that curtain up, you have seed in both tank two and three. It lets you select multiple tanks. So always select the maximum. For your cedar display, you want this to be the monitor that's controlling the seed rate. So with our seeders, sometimes we can have a monitor that has our GPS and auto steer on it and another that controls the seed rate. So in this case, we do want the seeder display that's controlling the seed rate. Good, and give that seeder a name. Perfect. And then we wanna go down the tabs on that left-hand side. So we start um, looking at that wheel distance and then we'll go to the next tab. If they have a yellow dot beside them, that means they need more information. So our controller, that's gonna be the rate control system that this seeder is running. So we are going to run the Topcon X30 Apollo system on this one. And we have that hitch to exit distance. So from where the hitch connects to the tractor to where that seed is exiting, that is the distance in inches that we want. And with our mapping our air seeders, we can map seed and then two other application layers. So these are the application A exit. I'm going to put this one is also being controlled by the X30 Apollo system. The hitch to distant exit is 216 inches as well. And when I add that second tank, that application A, gives me the option, you know, if I have that third tank of also adding it. 
So we can do same thing there. So in this case with my cedar, you know, there's more than three tanks. So I'd pick the three that I want to prioritize mapping, my seed, and then maybe my inoculant and one of my fertilizer layers. So let's us map up to three layers at once. And lastly, our air cart setup. One of the key things here is that air cart position. If it is tow between or tow behind, that's obviously going to affect um, the distance between the GPS bubble and that seed exit. So if it's toe behind, you know, we're not going to be as concerned about our hitch to axle distances and axle to rear hitch. Um, whereas if it's toe between, that's where we'd want those to be a bit more accurate. So good, that's the short version of going through and adding an air seater. If you have any questions about compatibility, um, about adding yours, our support team and our support site are great resources. So for our support site, go to climate field or support.climatefieldview.ca and then there's the, you can instant message message, a phone, email our support team from there and they'd be able to answer any of your questions about setting up your equipment, compatibility, etc. Um, so I hope that helps you get field view ready for 2019 and, and that you'll have a safe and happy seeding season.